Jan, uh, it's been a, been a pleasure being, being here this morning and uh, just really feel, feel comfortable with the four animals uh, that have been brought back out here, the, the, the winners in each class. And uh, It's been a lot of work on their part, getting them ready and taking care of them through the year and working with them and, and everything. So let's give them a round of applause for all the work they do. So, so today I'm going to go with the young man here on the end uh, as, the, as the grand champion heifer in my opinion. Just, uh, a heifer, uh, you know, was one of the younger or middle-aged heifers in the, in the oldest class, but just uh, a heifer, in my opinion, that's it's long and dairy and sharp and prominent about those hooks and pins and uh, just straight over that top line and uh, just a, a really quality heifer, in my opinion. And uh, I'm going to go uh, reserve uh, grand champion here with the, uh, with, the, with the young man from the second class, just, again, a heifer that maybe wasn't the biggest heifer in the class, but... I think you'll have to go a long way to, to find another heifer that looks like her when she's out on the move, very very stylish and very carries herself well on those feet and legs and, and level from hooks to pins. So in my opinion, what I feel like is a pair of heifers that uh, that really go well together and uh, I think uh, yeah, you guys did a great job of getting them ready today and, uh, and showing them around the ring. So congratulations to both of you guys and, uh, and also the, the other two animals in this class. Thank you. Earlier, I think uh, it's evident that they, we don't have many cattle out here, but there's certainly cattle that can go and be competitive down the road uh, uh, at their designed end point uh, later on at a major show with or without hair. I think there's uh, three champions up here, uh, true power in every one of them. Uh, they're all white built cattle that are good looking at the same time. Uh, I think that. It's not real uh, intelligent on, on my behalf to go out and grab extremes because there's a couple of them out here. Uh, I think if you want to design a good one, you need to design one that has the fewest holes. Uh, call it bulk free and complete. I think in the past years we're seeing uh, the scalable issues become more of a problem. Uh, and with that, breeding cattle and raising them, uh, you're asking a lot for these guys to stay sound to 1,300 pounds, especially uh, the way we've got them bred nowadays. So I think it becomes real logical in my mind what steer to use. Uh, he's the best legged and he's the best looking one of the group and he's plenty good for what he's going to go and do later on. The lightweight Herbert up here will be your champion steer. Congratulations, young man. And then I think for reserve honors, it gets real, real tight between the exotic and uh, the reserve British steer. I think the differences in them, again, are going to become a, a scalable issue. I think the, the Herbert steer is built better from the ground up, uh, including his body design and the way that uh, he moves. He'll be reserved. Congratulations. courtesy and worked real hard and, and that's that's very good that's that's what this is about is being able to think on your feet and being able to to get the most out of those animals no doubt the two that i like the best of these two down on that end i think they they fit me and my style and, and that's what everybody needs to realize that whenever you go someplace else there'll be another man's opinion and it might be different and, but uh, i think you all are winners you all are out here for a reason this is a champion drive uh, but there are two goats that I think that, that are very nice and kind, and, and this next to the heavy class goat, I think he was very special in class. He'll be your champion today. Congratulations. I need second place goat. I need tag number 1634, Braden Basir. Tag number 1634, Braden Basir. Place in. We certainly don't give up what we're doing. 
good in his handle. He's extremely powerful. However, he is a fall in a distant second behind our first place goat. And I think our heavyweight falls a little bit closer in his kind and style and design, certainly in his performance as far as muscle capacity and, and a higher yielding goat. Congratulations, your reserve will be the heavyweight. Entry 137, Braden Basir. Thank you. 